Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim the secret. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place. It's called to Joseph, and its guardian is gone to sand. Strange tales adorned its walls, which spoke of an empress, an empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. He returned to India with treasure of the a staff. A desert, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, such books, such secrets they contain. For even then I was an older man, and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the herself. <laughs> but you were gone, they were gone. So I thought. I turned my attention to your father. That dream of time. Poor Mexico, the tiger stirred and showed me things. Whispered to me in my sleep. It drew me here towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my view, would not grant me life. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! What have we here? The vizier. Ah, you must be the prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no! Helena! Ah! <laughs> 
Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. Should I continue from here, I will continue my story from here next time.